I'm J.R. Church. Welcome to today's analysis of the news. Gary Stearman is here with me to discuss what's happening in Israel. Uh, for example, President Bush and Prime Minister Olmert have been meeting with talks over the Palestinian Authority. Looks like things are really clicking over there. Well, J.R., uh, the Palestinian Authority is becoming politically smarter, I think. They're learning to play politics, and now they may have an advocate uh, in uh, the White House because the new administration of Barack Obama, uh, according to World Net Daily, has given positive reception in meetings with Arab diplomats to the so-called Arab Peace Initiative, which offers normalization of ties with the Jewish state in exchange for extreme Israeli concessions. And, J.R., those concessions would involve leaving great masses of land and reducing uh, defensible uh, Israel to a very tiny plot of ground. But the, uh, the, the Arabs now are learning uh, to play international politics to get their way. I think they're a little bit more uh, patient, a little smarter than they used to be. But eventually their goal is the destruction of Israel. That's and right. they've said that much. Now, this article comes from Arutz Shiva, Israel National News. Outgoing Prime Minister Ehud Olmert left Israel Saturday night for talks with the president and future American presidents on talks with the Palestinian Authority. But a possible attack on Iran's nuclear site may be the main topic on the agenda. So, this meeting over the Palestinian talks between two lame duck politicians yes. uh, could be just a cover up for their true agenda and that would be an attack on Iran. So says Arutz Shiva. Now, uh, Gary, the visit to Washington came uh, days after President-elect Barack Obama called the Palestinian Authority Chairman Mahmoud Abbas to tell him that he would make every effort to complete a final agreement on a new Arab country with Israel's current borders. However, many analysts are pessimistic that the new president will succeed where others have failed. Mm. And this article goes on to say new evidence that Iran may have produced enough uranium to make a nuclear bomb along with, uh, along with doubts that the next president will be aggressive toward Iran has increased speculation that Israel wants to attack Iran. The International Atomic Energy Agency estimates that Iran has amassed a quantity of low enriched uranium that some experts believe is enough to produce a bomb. The same size that the United States used to destroy Nagasaki at the end of World War II. Mm. Ooh, that sounds ominous, Gary. Well, the experts are predicting some kind of a peace agreement, quote unquote, uh, in the Middle East. Uh, other, uh, others are saying uh, hold your breath because uh, J.R. Uh, certain uh, news sources that we've both read lately have suggested that before George Bush leaves office, there are plans to do something about that pesky nuclear weapon in Iran. Yes. Now, if there is an attack on Iran, can you imagine what will happen when a, uh, Barack Obama becomes the president? I mean, he's he's going to have a hot potato t handle when he oh, reaches yeah. the White House. That is true. That is true. And we're watching, of course, the interesting thing to me, J.R., is Russia. I always look to Russia. And Russia is daily solidifying ties both with Iran and Syria. Uh, so mm -hmm. it, hold the phone. Anything <laughs> could happen. Yes. Well, you know, Russia this past week moved in an arm armada of ships into the Caribbean. That's correct. And so who knows what will happen. But I can tell you that things are moving very quickly toward the fulfillment of biblical prophecy. You see, things don't just happen overnight. The book of Revelation has to have some logistical preparations in order for things to move along. And we don't even know how long it takes for the preliminaries uh, to develop. We know, by the way, since 1948, things have been moving in that direction. You know, the UN was established in 1945. They birthed the state of Israel that was the first born son of the UN and the only son that's ever been birthed by the UN they have not birthed any other nations but they are wanting to birth Palestine oh yes <laughs> so there'll be 
Jacob and Esau, twin brothers, wow. you know, uh, fighting from the womb. Uh, doesn't that sound prophetic? Well, Jr., the Bible is coming alive in our day. That's why we're watching so closely, so carefully. Quickly, let me just add this. A little headline from Debka File. Tehran and Damascus are going all out to get their hooks into Lebanon's Christian politicians and wean them away from their traditional ties with the West. So you've got that political component to put in this mix. Yes. And it's all tightening up on a daily basis. You know what we're going to have one of these days soon in Israel and the Middle East? Another war. So brace yourself and look for it. I'm J.R. Church and Gary Stearman. We'll see you again tomorrow afternoon with our analysis of the news.